Hey guys, this is Alexis Sofia Leather. Hope you guys are doing well. This video, I'm gonna show you how to make leather conditioner the way I make it. This is my leather conditioner. I call it a secret sauce. All right, I'm gonna go over exactly everything, all the materials, the ratio, and actually how to do it. This is what I call my secret sauce. And after this video, I'm just gonna call it sauce because it's no longer a secret. In the description below, there's gonna be a list, um, affiliate link, it's gonna be affiliated through Amazon. And yes, I make a small um, commission, but it doesn't cost you anything and that really helps out this channel. But there'll be a storefront that has a list of other categories as well, uh, as well as every item you see here. Um, so in the description below, there's that there for you. So let's go over every single item and tool and material you need to make leather conditioner. All right, bye. All right, so as far as the ingredients, you need 100% beeswax. This is 100% beeswax and these come in one ounce bars. Now this measurement is by weight, not by volume. We'll go over that in a little bit, but these are one ounce bars, it makes life a lot easier. Like I said in the description, the links to all that. This is 100% pure Neats foot oil. You can use Feebings, I'm using Sheps. This is pure Neats foot oil, 100% pure Neats foot oil, not to be confused with the uh, Neats foot compound. I'm not sure if this will work with the compound. All I'm telling you is this, I use a pure Neats foot oil. So don't use a compound, don't get confused by the, uh, with that. That's the ingredients, okay? Now, in order to make it, uh, you need a measuring cup. You need this little doohickey, which is a wax pour, and this is really helpful because it has a spout here, it helps pour. You need a little single burner. All this stuff is down there for you. Uh, and this is optional, but I found it useful, is a two quart crock pot, okay? Two quart crock pot. See, it says secret sauce. I gotta change that to just sauce now. Um, uh, as far as actually melting everything together, those are the two options. Um, now, as far as the container, how you contain it, uh, how, how you store uh, the conditioner, obviously you could make it in this qu court, uh, this crock pot, and you can also store it as well. So this is why I like the crock pot idea. Or you have these options is what I use. These are two, can, uh, two ounce cans, all right, you could sell these or give them to your customers with your product, whatever you want. These are my stickers. You could, you can use those stickers if you want. I'm not gonna argue with you. Then you have these little guys. These are really just little samples. I think they're three gram little samples. All the stuff's in the description below. Let's go ahead and give you an example of the consistency before we actually make it. And that matters because that's gonna change the ratio. So let me change the camera and I'll show you what the consistency looks like. All right, so the ratio I make it in, we're gonna go over in a second yields this kind of consistency. I don't know if you can see it. See that? And it applies really easy. And uh, you could mess with the ratios once we get to that point. If you wanna make it a little more, a little more viscous, uh, if you wanna make it a little looser, um, you know what I mean, I don't, I, the words escape me, but just play with the ratios to get it how you like. But I found that this is the best. Um, also, you wanna pick up a whole bunch of these microfiber rags. I'll put a link in the description, it's in there as well. All right, let's talk about the ratios and everything else. So here is the ratios I use uh, for that consistency. And that is one part beeswax, four parts oil. One part beeswax, four parts oil. But as I said in the beginning of this video, this is one ounce in grams by weight, not by fluid ounces. This is, this is a measurement of weight. So it just so happens that one ounce bar in weight of beeswax will yield one ounce of fluid ounce. So really, all we need to do is to put, um, uh, what, am I, what am I saying? I'm gonna leave this in there because this is, I do this every time. So one ounce of fluid, if you want four to one, then you want four ounces of needs for oil, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna fill this up to four ounces, which is half a cup of oil. And then I'm gonna put one bar. Now that should yield close to four ounces or two cans of these, right? So we're gonna test that theory out. So all I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna fill this up to four ounces. So I have four ounces of needs for oil, four parts oil, 
one part beeswax. All right. I'm just going to put the one bar, which is one ounce of beeswax. Of course, you would multiply this to suit your needs, but uh, if you want double the material, obviously you go eight ounce, eight ounces of needs for oil and two bars of the beeswax. But I'm not gonna obviously put this in here. We're gonna put it in this pot and get it ready. Let me show you. Now what I do here is we're gonna go ahead and melt everything together. I have my four ounces of needs for oil, pure needs for oil, and I have my one bar of beeswax. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the beeswax and get that kind of melted. You don't want this boiling. So I'm gonna put it on max for now, just to get it started. And then once it starts to melt, then I'll put it down and, and put it low. You just don't want it bubbling. So this is on, is it on? I can't tell, yeah. So this is uh, melting. I'm not gonna have you sit and watch it melt. So we'll get back together again in a second. All right, so this is basically almost well, uh, melted. Um, I'm gonna add the oil, but I'm gonna do it off the burner. Okay. So I'm just gonna add the oil on there. Oil's in there. You probably could just add this oil first and then the beeswax, not gonna hurt anything. Um, but you don't wanna be pouring oil over this hot burner. Put it back on there and you can see how it coagulated. So we gotta remelt that again because that cold or room temperature oil kind of coagulated the wax again. So maybe for, f for future reference, maybe put the oil in first and then melt the wax slowly. It doesn't really matter guys. You just gotta get this all melted up. You don't want it to be coagulated. You want it to look like one uh, fluid, okay? You can't discern the difference between wax and the oil here. It looks like one uh, fluid. I'll show you what that looks like, and that's it. You have made you have made your leather conditioner, and you simply go to pour into your cans. This should make two full cans. You kind of want to stir it, make sure everything's one uh, mixed up really well. So you can see there's a little bit of overlap here, and this is why you can have a third can open, or I just throw it in here. Of course, you could just mix everything, have your your mixture and your ratios in the crock pot, put it on low, mix all up, and it's ready to go in the crock pot. All right? But that's it for this short, quick video. Um, that's how you make leather conditioner. This is how I make leather conditioner. It's basically just beeswax and needs for oil. And the ratio there, if you want it a little, uh, almost like, um, not a cream per se, but something just a buff. You might want to bump that up uh, to three parts oil or bump it down three parts oil, one part wax to make it a little bit harder and more like a shine. But I found this ratio to be useful for me. And that's all I got for you guys. Don't forget in the description below in the pin first comments, you're going to find uh, affiliate links or Amazon links to everything here that you see in this video. Uh, like I said before, it doesn't cost you anything, but I do get a small commission, so I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let me know in the comments below if you do, do, do if you, wow, I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm just gonna leave it in there, it's real talk. Let me know if you do things different, what kind of ratios you use. I am curious to see, wow, why is this F16? That's terrible. All right guys, God bless you, have a good one, bye.